Let's go straight to Beth Karras with In Session, the reporter. She is right there in the thick of it all. Beth, what happened today? Well, after that phone conversation was played, and that's Jody Arias reaching out to the lead detective the day after Travis Alexander's body is found, offering information, offering help, asking questions. Then the jury heard and saw, rather, a lot of photographs, which culminated at the end of the day with some very gruesome photos. Yeah, and, and the by the way, scene, Beth, I think it's well, important almost the to whole scene. Beth, I think it's important to let everybody know the photos are graphic, and also some of the language you're going to hear tonight is graphic. Be very careful with your children. But again, this is what was played in court today. Beth, uh, some stunning details verbally in those emails, and also pictures, right, Beth? Yes, the, and the pictures really tell a story. They show that there was a struggle, a fight by Travis Alexander. He was fighting for his life. The prosecution says he was stabbed in the heart and then hung his head over the sink, and you can see he was probably spitting blood. It was a terrible scene. The worst, though, is to come next week where uh, the jury will see the area where the state says his throat was slashed, and then he was dragged to the shower, shot, and left. And uh, Liz, I want to warn folks because um, there are some graphic pictures. In fact, there's some pictures of blood at the sink where they believe his throat was slit. Let's go to Bonnie Drucker, Nancy Grace, producer. This picture is significant, some of these photos, and it really does show a very bloody, brutal scene, right, Bonnie? Rita, it is so bloody and so brutal. I mean, members of Travis Alexander's family, uh, everyone was crying. They were taking tissues. And some of the people I was sitting next to had to turn their head. I even had to turn my head at some point. It shows a real, real struggle, a lot of blood at the sink, uh, on the floor, on the walls. And it's just a tremendously violent, violent scene. And, Bonnie, we're looking at pictures right now. Uh, I mean, it stuns to to see the amount of blood at the sink, again, where they believe the fatal blow was that slit his throat from ear to ear, right, Bonnie? I mean, this was a dramatic wound. Oh, yeah, for, from ear to ear. I mean, she's accused, Jody Aries is accused of stabbing him 29 times and then slitting his throat from ear to ear. That's a lot of, a lot of blood and then shot him in the face, allegedly. And, you know, I've seen some of the pictures, uh, everyone, that we cannot show on camera, and there's some really dramatic, uh, gruesome pictures uh, showing a very beat up, very bruised Travis Alexander, a lot of blood at the scene. Again, we're not even going to show you those. Uh, the ones we're showing you, I think, are graphic and give you the idea enough of how difficult and horrible this crime scene was. Beth Karras, what was the reaction from jurors, uh, the reaction from others in the courtroom to see these kind of pictures? Well, let me start with Jody Arias. She was crying a lot. I mean, tears were streaming down her face, down to her chin. That and she crocodile was wiping tears? Her eyes Did they and look her genuine? Constantly. Genuine I tears? No, I mean, yeah, she turns it on. They look genuine. I mean, maybe she's saying to herself, how did I get myself in this position? Maybe she's sorry she killed him. It's not uh, in dispute that she killed him. The question is, should she be held criminally responsible, right? She says she was justified in doing it, but she killed him. She did this. That's not in dispute. Um, but jurors at times, see, some jurors looked at the big screen directly across from them. Some looked at a smaller screen above the witness, uh, which was a little more, should show a little more sharper detail. But jurors who looked at the big screen across from them, like a big movie screen, had Jody Arias in their line of sight. So I can't, I can't believe they weren't looking at her also crying and turning her head. So they would avert their eyes uh, from the picture to her uh, at times. They're allowed to take notes. The witness hasn't finished, so we don't know if they have any uh, questions for this witness that all the photographs are coming in through. Um, but it was very somber in the courtroom. Earlier in the day, there was nothing gruesome. It was interesting facts, but nothing gruesome. But the day ended, the weekend, um, with some pretty powerful stuff for the you jury bet. at home. With you bet.